everybody, how you doing? Um, this is going to be really short and sweet. Uh, I just want to get to the point to help you guys solve your problem. I know you've probably been looking everywhere. This information is not, um, it's not, I couldn't find it anywhere on the internet. I had to call Canon. So uh, I'm going to save you the trouble of having to call Canon. Um, I did end up figuring it out. So if you've got the EOS 5D SR or the EOS 5 5D, I think it's having the same problem, but anyway, this one's going to be for my EOS 5D SR. Um, so the problem I was having is that I can pop out, you know, my memory card and I can transfer files uh, over to my computer, um, but I was not able to use the, uh, I wasn't able to plug it into my iMac here. Um, because it wasn't communicating. And, you know, I've got the cable. This is a USB 3.0 cable that they came with it. I would plug it into the camera um, and nothing. I wouldn't get anything. Um, the older versions of Canon Utility, some work, some don't. And I'll tell you what the problem is. The problem is not in the hardware. Um, it is the fact that when Canon released uh, this new system and their new software, they are still well behind the update for uh, the, when, when all these went over from whatever it was, Mojave or whatever the last one was. Um, this is the most recent, this is Mac OS Catalina, I think it's 10.15. 10, 10 um, anyway, the, the software says not available on Canon's website. So anyway, um, obviously you, I'm sure you know how to uh, plug this in. Uh, there's a little port down here at the bottom. See if you guys can see that. Yeah, little port down there at the bottom for a USB 3. Uh, all you're going to do is you're going to plug it in to the camera. Uh, then you're going to plug it in to the back of your iMac. I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you have an iMac because this is the only we're the only ones having this problem. Um, and you have to have iMac with the most recent Catalina update. Um, this is just sort of a workaround for that so that you can get your photo data and you can also live view shoot through the camera. So for you studio guys um, that like to have a monitor up while you're shooting to show you know, histogram and overexposure or whatever, um, this will be a workaround for that as well. So this will also allow you to download and see the, the uh, pictures metadata um, so if you want to see your ISO or your f-stop or whatever it is um, with each photo, which I do, if I go out on a shoot, and especially like if I'm doing night shots, I was just shooting the moon the other night, uh, <laughs> shooting the moon, but anyway, um, I like to be able to look at it later on the computer and say, okay, you know, this worked at this f-stop, and then I, had, I, I stopped down a little bit, and then it got a little blurry, and I lost some of my resolution, whatever. I like to at least have the data with the file on the computer. So anyway, let's get into it. Um, I'm just going to screen record the rest of the video so that you guys can see exactly the steps I took. Um, and then by the end of it, uh, it'll show you how to download, how to work around the download because uh, the new uh, version of Catalina is also going to block the download directly from Canon's website. So I'm going to show you the workaround for that as well, um, which is all pretty easy. So anyway, let's uh, Let's get in. Everybody. So here is how this is going to work. Um, you're on Canon's USA website, or you know, if you're in the UK or whatever, you're on their website. There is a button up here, Drivers and Downloads. You're going to click that. You're going to select which model. This is our EOS 5 DSR. And under that, we want the software. Now, if you are in, obviously, Catalina or OSX, you will not see any software, so you have to roll back to the Mojave 10.14 uh, driver. This EOS Utility 3.11 for OSX, this is what you want, so you're going to select Download. All right? It'll give you some notification about downloading, I'm sure, because it's Apple. Um, but anyway, so then what we're going to do, we don't need to know that stuff, we are going to bring up our download. All right, um, It's going to show us this little download box here. When you click install, it's going to tell you, no, we will not do that. You're going to go to system preferences, type in gatekeeper. Uh, in the gatekeeper, you're going to see this, app store and identify developers or only app store. This is how you download. So this is the installer. It tells you it was blocked and why it was. You can hit open anyway. Um, when you hit open anyway, it's going to run through, you'll be able to run through the install process. Once you get that all installed, you'll register through Canon. You'll have to put in the serial number usually of you know whatever cam camera you're using. This one didn't make me, but sometimes they do. Um, so anyway, once you have that open, then all you're going to do is, I've got my camera plugged in, 
and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the on button. All right, that will automatically bring up uh, the program. Um, you'll see it pop up here in just a minute. Here we go. So EOS Utility 3, right? EOS 5 DSR, download images to computer, remote shooting, camera settings. So if I hit download, it'll ask you some questions. Uh, select and download. So here's all our photos, and it gives us you can hit the info and you'll get the shooting information or just the date and time or whatever. I like the shooting information because then we get our f-stops and ISOs and shutter speed and all that. And then you just click through them and uh, you're going to hit download. Um, you can go to preferences here and you can tell it where you want. Like I've got an off-site drive and that's where I want it to go. Um, but you can have it save. It'll save just to your like pictures folder or whatever the default is. Um, but that's pretty much it for that. It's pretty pretty simple. Um, let's see if we do the quit here. Um, let me show you guys also how to record the actual uh, screen if you wanted to do that. There's a pretty easy way to do that. So basically what I'm doing is I just pop this back on and you hit remote shooting. It'll bring up this interesting little window here. Um, just go to live view shoot. All right. And it'll automatically uh, start to... You can do the continuous autofocus. This is just whatever my back door. So, um, but anyway, this is how you would get this to come up if you were on, you know, like you wanted it to come up on a separate device or a studio device or something like that. Um, and all of your settings are in here as well. So you can change if you wanted to change, uh, you know, shutter speed, you wanted to change, you know, your aperture or whatever. Um, you can do that. Uh, you can do that all through here. Um, it's, it's very, very simple. Uh, but anyway, that gives you your histogram and uh, obviously all of this stuff can be, uh, you know, you can, you can customize this your own way. But basically it's that EOS Utility 3, that's the, the workaround for this. Um, don't forget about the gatekeeper thing if you're only, and all this stuff only applies if you're working on Mac OS Catalina 10.15 um, and with and it's usually some of the newer cameras because uh, last time they came out with Mojave um, they had basically a uh, an issue where they just weren't able to get the program out for like eight months after Mojave came out so anyway this works uh, just as well um, and I hope you guys found this helpful and leave any comments below if you need to know anything else all right, happy shooting. Cheers.